Hey what is up guys it's Rodia or Taylor here and I'm back with episode 3 of the Division news series. And in this episode there really isn't that much news so let's just skim over the things we do have really quickly. So the first thing we have here is all of the stats from the closed beta that recently was run. And there's some really interesting things here so like that 14 billion shots fired, the most lethal weapon was the M4, 7 billion doors closed. And then it just goes through all the dark zone stats and a couple of other surprise stats in there as well. So I'll leave that in the description for you to check out in your own time and really analyse and find the interesting things in on it. The next little thing is something to do with the collector's edition of the game or better known as the sleeper agent edition of the game which I've actually pre-ordered and it's to do with what clothing items you get so it's obviously advertised that you get the hazmat suit and in a couple of other editions you get a national guard outfit as well but on reddit somebody asked the official facebook page and they said you get both the hazmat and the national guard outfit for the sleeper agent edition but there was some confusion on reddit because somebody else said that you don't so I went and asked Natachi who's actually a developer of the game and I said just to confirm something that's popped up on reddit does the sleeper agent edition come with a hazmat and the national guard outfits he replied saying I believe it does if you pre-order it but I'm not sure about all of these stats. so it sounds like not everybody knows what you're getting I guess it's just gonna be a bit of a surprise but I wouldn't be surprised if it was just the hazmat suit which would be a shame because I really like the national guard outfit and it seemed like you could only get that in America but who knows I'm still pumped for the game so some info here on what we're gonna be able to play in the open beta it does sound like there's gonna be a tiny part of the map to play compared to the alpha and the beta version and there'll be a new mission available to play called subway morgue and it will encounter a new faction the cleaners, explore a mass grave whilst trying to restore power to the city, and rescue the missing engineer Paul Rhodes, which you'll then unlock the tech wing in the base of operations, which is going to be sick. You're going to be able to use a turret and a couple of other things in there. So I can't wait to play that. And then there's just a few like fixes, bug fixes and whatnot to add to the list. The last thing in this episode is what you'll receive for playing the closed alpha and the closed beta sessions. And for the closed beta, it's actually a short bow sports cap, which looks alright. I'm like quite surprised it's only that. And for the alpha you get this really nice looking weapon skin and obviously I don't mean to brag but I did play in both of them so I can't wait to receive these and run around with them and feel really really cool whilst doing it. And that's going to be it for episode 3 of the news division. I really hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure to hit that like button and if you're new around here make sure to subscribe for the upcoming episodes. They'll be coming thick and fast all the way up into the release and then continue on through the division's lifespan. And until then I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.